So this week, Apple just announced iOS 16 and the compatible devices. Unfortunately, the phones that we have here that did get iOS 15 will no longer get iOS 16 update. And starting from here is the first generation of the iPhone SE that will no longer get it. This is the 2016 model, not the second one. So this is a smaller one. So the 2020 edition and the third iPhone SE will get the update. Unfortunately, the first generation will not. Along with those are the iPhone 6 and the 6S Plus, slightly different from the 6 model here. These two phones that we have here, surprisingly, we didn't think they were going to get iOS 15 update. They did, and they were one of the longest running phones because the iPhone 6 stopped getting updates, but this phone has been long running, but will no longer get iOS 16 update. And then finally, the iPhone 7, which again comes as a really shocking that Apple is not going to be supporting iOS 16 on it, considering that the 6S made such a big run. So this phone, for some reason, Apple decided to kill off the 7 all of a sudden, which we thought we're going to get it. Maybe Apple might reverse the decision. We don't really know, but these phones will no longer get the iOS 16 update. So what does that really mean for these iPhone? Well, first thing first is that although they're not going to get that major update, you're not going to be able to get those fancy features and whatnot. But does that make the phone useless? It doesn't really make the phone useless because even with phones that are running iOS 12 and 13, they're still useful. You can make calls. You can do all of that. The one thing you start getting is that some of the apps might start dropping support. But even on iOS 15, probably not till another two to three years before major apps start becoming obsolete. So even if you have iPhone 7, 7 Plus, expect that it's still going to be a great device even in 2022, 23 as well, even, even in 2024. So it's nothing to worry about. But Apple did just announced that they weren't going to support it so we'll see how that goes possibly again apple might reverse their decision but it's something we just recently learned i want to hear you guys your thoughts on apple's recent announcements on ios 16 and how it's not going to update the iphone sc iphone 6s and the iphone 7 lineup leave a comment in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys and next time